Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a lip swatch video. I received the brand new Makeup Revolution Matte Balm Liquid Lipsticks and I just love doing lip swatches. One, I feel like they're very helpful for people that are trying to buy these products and maybe you don't know what shade you want to go with. If you are a brown little biscuit like me, you tend to want to see how a new lipstick looks on the skin color of a little brown biscuit. So today we're gonna be doing a full swatch. Pray for my lips, you guys. These are 12 matte lipsticks. It is a brand new formula. It's supposed to be kiss-proof, long-wearing, matte, and super comfortable, and transfer-proof. So I'm really excited. I already have some favorites that I've swatched so far. If I still sound a little bit sick, I am still feeling a little under the weather. Not too bad. I figured that I would just get the courage, not the courage, but get the energy to film at least something for you guys. And lip swatches honestly are just very easy to film. So that's what we're doing today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you never miss any of my uploads. And with that said, you already know, grab your cafecito and let's start with today's lip swatches. Let's go. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So really quickly, on the Makeup Revolution website, these retail for $7. A product overview just says, matte lips are back and they're better than ever. It's time to make some room in your makeup collection because our new Kiss Proof Revolution matte bombs are going to blow you away with their long lasting creamy matte formula. Pucker up, honey. So we are ready, of course. I'm gonna show you guys. The packaging is really cute. Like, look at this. They are like a, it's plastic, but it has like this super pretty glass-like matte finish, hence the name of the packaging. And they're cute and small. I feel like these are very like travel friendly and the colors are just absolutely stunning. I think they did a really good job with all the shades. So if you are a matte liquid lipstick lover, you might want to keep an eye on these. So really quickly, let's go ahead and start. Now, I typically like to use my liquid lipsticks. Any lipstick in general, I use it with a lip liner. We're not going to use that today, but towards the end of the video, I will be doing um, my lipstick with a brown lip liner. So let's go ahead and start. I usually like to start from lightest to darkest. So I guess that's what we're going to be doing today. So the first shade I am using is Delicate Brown. Uh, this one is described as a versatile and easily wearable chocolate shade. So again, packaging. And then when we open it, it has a large doe foot applicator, which I think is really nice to make the application nice and easy and there is a swatch mmm I don't really have much of a smell right now because I'm so congested definitely have a nice scent to them there is the first shade it's definitely a little more cool tone it has a little bit of a mauve to it but it's still a brown Really pretty and I do think this is a very versatile lip color. It'll look great on many different tones, like skin tones. Um, it's a little bit tacky still. I did see that you're supposed to wait for it to like dry down. I'm not going to do that because otherwise we're going to be here forever and we have 12 shades to go through. So let's move on to the next shade. Next shade is another nude. This one is called Nude Magnet and this one is just described as a perfect nude for all skin tones. So let's open her up. And that is the color on the wand. Let's apply it to the lips. So one thing that I'm noticing is that you don't need to double dip with these, like one little dip and that is enough to cover both of the lips. So that is the color right here, not my shade. I don't like these types of pinks, they're very I don't know, it has like those purpley undertones, like a lilac undertone, and it's just not for me. I could possibly wear this with like a brown lip liner and work with it, but for me, this is just a shade that I don't see myself gravitating towards it. Um, if you like this lip color, definitely let me know in the comment section down below how you like to wear it, because I just can't get into these kinds of things. Eee. 
Let's move on to another nude. This one is called Fancy Pink, and this one is described as a stunning, bold pink. <laughs> that is a very good description. That is the shade right there. Let me give you a little swatch. I forgot to swatch the other one. Okay, now this is more of a pink that I would wear. So let's go ahead and swatch this one. This is a pink. This one is actually a little bit prettier than the one I just swatched. It's a little bit deeper and it's not as like lilac-y. It's a little bit more rosy, mauve -y. It's really pretty. Again, these are shades that I just naturally don't gravitate towards. Uh, and I have less like I taste great. <laughs> but again, with a nice brown lip liner, I can definitely see myself wearing this one. So this is really pretty. Which one is your favorite so far? Okay, let's move on to the next shade, which is called Coral Coral Cheer. And this one is just as it describes. It's a cho cho <laughs> Coral Cheer. Oh my gosh. Coral Cheer Pink. Wow. <laughs> Let's go ahead and swatch that one. Oh my gosh, this looks like really intense. I wish you could see it in person. Yeah, this ain't it for me. Do people actually wear these colors? Like, like serious, serious question because where, like, where would you wear this? Okay, so this is the only one that's kind of given me a hard time. It is a little, like, patchy. If I press my lips together, like, it separates, if you can tell. Like, up here, it kind of separates. The color is a big no for me. It's very bright, but not in a cute way. Sorry, not sorry. Moving away from that color, <laughs> we are going into the shade Clueless Fuchsia. And I was really hoping Makeup Revolution had better like descriptions of like the undertones. But this one is just described as a vibrant medium mauve. Now this is one of the very few pinks that I could actually see myself wearing it. This is by far my favorite really pretty pinky mauve color it's very pretty on like my skin tone so if you're like my shade maybe a little bit darker this is going to look really pretty on you and the formula so far has been very comfortable i did find that these are a little bit sticky like these have been dried down for a while now and i don't see any transfer they do not transfer um but they do have a sticky residue so just keep that in mind so leilani was kind enough to look for them for me and she found them and these are the two colors that i was missing so let's quickly swatch these i am going to swatch probably my favorite out of the bunch this one is called nude charm let's go in with this one. Oh, this one is really light so this one is perfect for light skin tones or if you're like me and you enjoy doing ombre lips where the center is a little lighter than the rest of your lips, this is like that shade for it. This shade alone obviously washes me out very much. So I would pair this with a brown lip liner or again on top of a already like nude lipstick just to create like that ombre effect. But this color is beautiful. If you are a nude lover like me, this is going to be a really beautiful shade and again, like the undertones are more like beige, so it's perfect. I love it, I love this one. Okay, let's move on to my next second favorite shade. <laughs> and this one is called Nude Allure. This one is beautiful, I love this color, and I know this is gonna be like my favorite one. Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get. So this one is a little sheer, it is a little streaky. As I am applying more and more product, it kind of pulls and tugs at the color. It is really pretty though. Obviously, like, this is why I'm saying that I like to wear my nude lipsticks with a brown lip liner. It just makes a world of a difference. First of all, it makes your lips look bigger. So if you like bigger, juicier looking lips, definitely line them with a brown or whatever lip liner first and then go in and apply your nude lipstick. That is the best way because I feel like this is not very suitable, very suiting, is that the word, for my skin tone right now, but it's really pretty and I really like it. So 
definitely my top favorite let's get this pink out of the way because i have a feeling i'm not going to like this one this one's called pink bunny and this one okay it's a little prettier so let's go swatch this one did do two swatch or not two swipes and it looks a little bit better but again these are colors that i just don't like i feel like these tend to bring out the yellowness in your teeth um so no this is a shade that i do not like and i will not wear but if you like it then honey brownie points to you there seems that there's only one red in this entire collection which i think is fine i typically prefer a red that leans more with blue undertones and it seems like this is exactly what it is it's called lore red and it's just a gorgeous red these colors are so beautiful on any skin tone i definitely have to say that let's move on to the last pink shade that i have here oh my lips are definitely feeling it at this point three more shades and we'll be done the last pink here is called burgundy star and this one is beautiful these are the colors that i like to wear in my mind <laughs> during fall but i don't actually actually ever wear them and i am going to push myself to wear at least one non-nude lipstick this fall one at least okay but actually like who else is living for this color it's definitely very fall appropriate and i have some lip liners that would pair so beautifully with this lipstick oh my gosh in person it's even more pretty it's more of a deep berry color it's stunning definitely my favorite out of the pinks so far definitely my favorite one of course i saved the best for last i love love deep colors like this especially during the fall so the last two shades here is deep wine and satin chocolate so let's go in with satin chocolate first because that one oh my gosh look at that color oh this color is so pretty it is definitely a chocolate brown it's really really pretty it has a little bit of those plum undertones i would recommend to do two layers with this one and not like tap your lips together just let it dry completely because it will transfer and separates but other than that the ugh, the color is gorgeous love these for the fall and the winter and anytime because makeup is fun but for the fall these are a must okay so this one is called deep wine it's definitely like a black purple. It's not really vibing with me. I thought I was gonna like it. Not really feeling it. It's a little like, it's pulling a little too many purple undertones. And I just feel like it, mm, not really for me. Maybe with the right makeup look, this will look cute. But yeah, definitely not my favorite. And here is the lip combo that I went with. I mixed both of the nude shades, Nude Charm and Nude Allure. And I mixed it with a little bit of my ColourPop lip liner in the shade BFF3. So this is how the lip combo looks. And as you can see, it just looks a lot better. Like this just, it goes more with my skin instead of just a plain lipstick so what are my final thoughts on the brand new makeup revolution matte balm liquid lipsticks i think they're okay i thought i was going to just like absolutely fall in love with them i just don't like how they're kind of sticky like do you guys see that don't really like that and as they dry down the tackiness does go away a little bit but it's still there like these have been on here for at least an hour and they're still like a little bit tacky i think that's what makes them super long wearing but i just personally don't like that in my lipsticks and i do notice that these do give you a little bit of that like butthole look to lips right here so be careful with that these are super affordable they are only seven dollars and they do have a lot of shades to choose from so i don't know it's up to you at this point where are you spending your coins i am just here to review it for you guys and to give you some swatches so i hope you guys enjoyed today's lip swatches because girl <laughs> my lips are definitely feeling it i love you all make sure that you stay safe stay blessed and until next time i will see you all in my next video Okay, bye.